Hey guys, how's it going? I apologize, but I'm not going to edit this video. Um, I'm just not in a place emotionally where I could sit and edit this particular video. But I wanted to give you guys a baby update and let you guys know what's going on. I'm going to have to take a very small break from YouTube for just a couple of days. I will probably be back. I, I can't, I haven't decided if I want to be back Friday or if I'm going to be back Saturday. But um, either either way, I will be back at the latest Saturday. Um, I just, uh, I was told some bad news today that I just need to process. Uh, for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel, I'm going to do a very quick, like, update and just catch you up with what's going on. Um, as of today, I am 15 weeks and 3 days pregnant. On August 27th, um, I woke up that morning and I had some really heavy bleeding. I went to the ER. They told me that my antibodies were low because I'm Rh negative, and that um, there was some bleeding behind my placenta. So they gave me a Rogam shot, which is my second one. That would have been my second one this pregnancy. Um, and they uh, put me on bed rest, and they told me to follow up with my OB. Uh, my appointment was today, and this was like a week ago. So I called anyway and see if she wanted me to follow up with her that week instead of waiting another week. And she said no, just follow up today, you know, today technically, and um, uh, just to be on bed rest. Um, so I, I bled on and off from the 27th until yesterday. Um, it came and it went. It wasn't like on my underwear or anything, but it came and it went and I would periodically check baby's heart rate or heartbeat, I'm sorry, to make sure baby was okay. Um, but yesterday, uh, things got really bad. I was laying in bed and me and Carly were about to, you know, call it a night. And all of a sudden I felt this gush of liquid come out of me. So I went to the bathroom and I um, had some blood on my underwear, like not a little bit, like a lot. And when I wiped, there was a lot of blood on the toilet paper. A lot. Um, I was really scared. And um, I checked baby's heartbeat just to make sure that heart, baby's heartbeat's there. And it is. So I didn't want to freak out too much because I had a doctor's appointment today, technically, September 6th. So I didn't want to, you know, go to the ER if baby's heartbeat was okay and it was like a one-time thing. So I put on fresh underwear. I laid down in bed. Um... And sh sure enough, I got comfortable and I all of a sudden felt that gush of liquid again. And I went to back to the bathroom and it was blood again. It was blood on my underwear. It was blood on the paper. And I was like, okay, this is the second time. This can't be just coincidence. So I went to the ER and I felt really bad for the girls because it was so late at night. But I had to go. Like, I, I had to go. This is a lot of blood. Um, and they, they did their ultrasound. They did some blood work. And they, um, the doctor came in and she told me that my placenta is breaking away from my uterus. It's called a placental abruption. Normally, this doesn't happen until like after 20 weeks or in the third trimester or if you're carrying multiples. But it's happening to me at 15 weeks. And she put me on strict bed rest and she gave me another Rogam shot, which makes my third. Yesterday I had my third Rogam shot. And normally you only get one one in every trimester, and then if your baby is um, positive instead of negative like you are, and then they, then you get another one. But I've had three already. And uh, she put me on strict bed rest until today. Well, I followed up with my obstetrician today, and I found out that I'm not just, my, sorry, my uterus is, I'm sorry. Um, my placenta isn't just breaking away from one spot, it's breaking away from two. The first spot was the initial bleed that I was having on August 27th. That was the initial spot that my placenta was starting to break away from. Well, since then, the initial spot has gotten worse. And there's a new spot in my placenta that is starting to also break away. Um, she's put me on strict bed rest. I'm not supposed to walk around in grocery stores. I'm not supposed to walk around, period. I'm not even supposed to walk around my own house. Um, but uh, she... She told me that not to do very much, to do as little as possible. I mean, I have to take care of my girls, but she said try not to lift them too much. Try not to um, get up and walk around a lot. As soon as you can, as soon as you're able, sit back down, lay back down. 
uh, you're on strict bed rest. And I know that they're only putting me on bed rest because this is true. They're only putting me on bed rest because the baby isn't at the age of viability. Baby is um, 15 weeks. And if I were to go into preterm labor right now, which placental abruptions, you do have a, a way higher risk of going into preterm labor with a placental abruption. If I were to go into that like tomorrow, let's say, they couldn't save the baby. It would just be considered a miscarriage and a... Uh, I'm sorry guys, give me a minute. Um, I would just lose the baby. Um, but if I got to 23 or 24 weeks, that's the age of viability. And if I still have this placental abruption problem, sometimes they heal themselves, sometimes they don't. But if I still have this problem, they're going to admit me and they're going to force me into bed rest. Because if I do go into preterm labor, they have to either one, stop it somehow, if they can, if they, might, they might not be able to, but if they can, they're going to try to stop my labor. And if they can't, then they're going to try to save the baby. But uh, that's what's going on right now. And I'm, uh, I'm going to cry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but that's what's going on. And I just need a couple of days to just process and maybe cry a little bit because I'm really scared. I've never lost a baby. And it's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> I just can't imagine losing a child and um, I just need a couple of days but I will be back just give me some time to process and uh, have my emotions um, but I just wanted you guys to know why I won't be on YouTube for a couple of days because I was gonna vlog tomorrow and now I can't because <laughs> uh, I just need some time but um, I will be back if not Friday I will be back Saturday and I will see you guys at a new pregnancy vlog because I do want to do a new pregnancy vlog on Saturday so I will be back then and I'm sorry that I tried to cry <laughs> but um I will see you guys if if not Friday Saturday I'm sorry that I repeated myself so much I'm just really emotionally wrecked right now uh thank you guys for watching bye